If you're a type A personality, you've probably already mailed your tax returns to the IRS. If not, you still have time. But as tax day approaches, the agency Americans love to hate is suffering through its own problems. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen explains. No federal agency arouses as much fear and loathing in American taxpayers as the Internal Revenue Service, but the latest annual report by Nina Olson, the national taxpayer advocate, depicts an IRS struggling to get by. Hobbled by the forced budget cuts known as sequestration, the agency couldn't answer 20 million of the roughly 100 million calls it received last year and extended its waiting times on hold to 18 minutes. Even then, IRS service reps will only answer basic questions, referring even marginally more complex inquiries to the IRS website, published manuals, and outside firms and software. Even IRS audits, believe it or not, are suffering, down to less than 1% of individual filers, the lowest level since 2005. The government has saved a billion dollars in cuts to the IRS budget on an annual basis and lost $8 billion in compliance revenues. It is a sad state of affairs, Olson wrote this week, when the government writes tax laws as complex as ours and then is unable to answer any questions beyond basic ones from baffled citizens who are doing their best to comply. The combination of more work and less funding, she said, predictably has impaired the IRS's ability both to meet taxpayer needs and to improve tax compliance. And it's going to get worse as they have uh, responsibility been forcing Obamacare. They say they need additional employees for it. Well, there isn't any federal agency that doesn't always start with that proposition, we need more money. Meantime, the Department of Justice investigation into allegations that Tea Party groups received inappropriate scrutiny in their applications for tax-exempt status triggered a testy exchange between a Tea Party senator and the head of DOJ. In the 280 days since that Inspector General report, Nobody has been indicted, not a single person. I don't know if you've ever conducted an investigation, Senator, but the fact that it's taken, and I'll just take you to your word, 280 days, um, is not unusual for complex investigations. We want to make sure that what we do is comprehensive and that at the end of the day we get it right. In calling for the appointment of a special prosecutor to investigate the Tea Party cases, Senator Cruz cited such appointments under Presidents Nixon and Clinton, but Attorney General Holder said he has faith, Brett, in the career DOJ attorneys who are handling the matter. All right, James, thank you.